My name is Jose Barriga and I want to show you in the next video in the conversion of an Eastern Center to an electric car. Um, I really wanted the next video to be the one that I was going to be showing you how this was going to start moving. But uh, I'm done with the boxes for the batteries in the back and I thought that if I put the batteries, um, I will not be able to show you the, the way that I build the boxes and the way I think I'm going to uh, make them uh, fix and not move with the bumps of the road and the curves. Uh, so I'm going to use this last video to show you and tell the, the, the battery boxes and then in the next video I hope to be making the, the first test. Um, I, I did a test on the batteries by the way and they fit really really nice here. I already put them all inside and I already uh, did a little test uh, on the car and it moves back and forth so it's, it's good. Um, so they, they, I know they fit, so that's why I proceed to paint it. Um, uh, let me show you some of the things that I did. Um, uh, what I did, and the cables are here, by the way. These are the, this is the cables for the charger. This is the cable for the fan that goes in the front. This is the cable for the other battery. Mm -hmm and um, that's the cable for the front battery so they, they have two cables going to the front uh, so i want to show you um, i built this this is going to be for my fan which is going to go here my fan is going to have the, the fan blower here on the bottom and that's because the um, lead acid batteries that are not sealed uh, produce fumes when they're charging so it's important to have some ventilation. Uh, I've already tested this timer as well. It's working just fine. I'm going to use it to um, just turn on the fan like every one minute every hour or so. But anyway, here are the, the battery boxes. So I built several supports. I built this support and that support for um, to reduce the um, risk that the, the rack will brake in the brakes and the acceleration because it's when more most force is done against the racks and if you if you think about it the the, the racks or the batteries are hanging up from these two uh, main uh, supports so since they're hanging i want to make sure that they were properly supported and they were not going to crack on a curve or on a brake so i have several supports like this one um, like this little corner that should help to, to support batteries this other uh, support here um, so but the, the battery racks are ready and, I, and they are painted as well um, let me um, show you also the cables the cables when you have cables going in your car from the back to the front uh, it's important that you twist those cables to reduce electric uh, noise and that electric noise affects mainly the controller, the, the, the throttle, uh, some of the electronic components in the, in the, in the system. So let me show you uh, the, the, the way I built the, the cables. I hope you can see them. I'm going to try to put them as close as I can. So the cables are twisted all the way to the front. Okay. Um, what else? Um, I want to show you something also that I want to do. I make some holes into these track boxes because I'm going to put these screws here between the batteries with a screw under and a screw on the top like this. And when I put the battery, I'm just going to wheel a little metal box like this in the center this should hold four batteries this this batteries and this batteries like four and that will stop the batteries from jumping uh, it's important that they don't they don't move uh, because the cables not just may disconnect but if they disconnect they're going to start causing uh, all kinds of sparks and arcing and that is uh, the consumption of power is so big that they will even melt the post. They will melt the post of the batteries and make them uh, garbage. They, they cannot be fixed easily. So I have uh, eight of these holes alone and I have six on the sides. That should be enough to keep the batteries from moving. Also, 
uh, I bought this um, plastic PVC. Um, I'm going to put that under the car, under the battery racks, under and on the sides. The idea is to enclose the batteries so the fan blower can really suck air from the front to the back and extract any uh, potential uh, dangerous gases that accumulate when it's charging. I bought this also in uh, one of the home department stores. Uh, I'm going to cut this in two and I'm going to put one of these on the front and the other one is going to go right under this, right under the vent. The, the idea is that the water doesn't come in, it's going to be like that and the fan is going to be like this, it's going to be exhausting the gases uh, when charging. And this is also for AC, so it's just going to work when the car is charged, which is when the gases accumulate. Um, after I finish this, of course, uh, I'm going to put some plexiglass on the top. One that is bigger, of course, this is not the right size, but it's going to go like that. It's going to cover the batteries, and then I'm going to put some of this uh, material, some of the uh, trunk carpet in the whole place. So I should have my trunk almost completely uh, empty for my personal use since the batteries are under. I also did the supports for the charger array because I didn't want to be soldering while the batteries are there. The batteries are made of plastic so any sparks from the soldering can affect the batteries. I didn't want to do any more soldering after the batteries are in. So I, I did the, the supports for the charger already. The charger is going to go here. Uh, this is a nice place. I thought I was going to put it under the car where the gasoline tank was, but uh, it's going to get dirty. Even though they are sealed, uh, I think it's better if I just keep it in the trunk. It's just going to reduce about this much of the space of my trunk. It's not too much. Uh, and, and well, everything is ready for the trunk. And, and here's even the, a hole that was used for the cables that went into some components here. This is perfect for my charger lines. That's gonna make it really, really good. Um, what else? I have, um, I thought of an idea. When I was working here and the, uh, the tire is removed, I was thinking about this, this is part. Let me bring the light. This is part, this, uh, I mean, uh, this, uh, springs is, are the ones that I'm going to need to make them stronger maybe I don't know yet but I was thinking that maybe all I need is to uh, have this plate removed and you know increase a little bit with that the spring will push further up so if I just get one of these or even this one and detach it and sold it again a little higher and there's a space for that there's a little space so I can just move it a little bit uh, maybe I don't need to buy anything else I just need to move this up um, I can use comments or suggestions about that uh, what do you think is it a good idea or not at all uh, but I, I think just by moving this a little over uh, I can really reuse this uh, the last, the last thing I wanted to mention is uh, I received a lot of comments and questions about how to make a conversion chip uh, a little easier as well. Um, I'm, I'm doing a lot of things that are optional that are not really necessary, and I'm putting a lot of batteries. When you use less batteries, you save money. When you buy cheaper controllers, it gets cheaper as well. Uh, it depends the car that you buy. If you buy a car with the bad motor. Those are cheaper as well. And another tip is to find a, an electric car already converted that where the batteries are bad or that some components are bad and they sell, they sell them really cheap. And you can find some of these cars in evamerica.com. This is a place where people sell their electric vehicles or in eBay. You can buy a lot of electric cars in eBay. That's another way to have a, a cheap electric car and, and you can improve it once you get it you can fix it. Um, well, it's, um, okay, next video now, I'm going to have all the batteries back inside and I hope I'll be able to make a test. Uh, thanks for watching, see you in the next video.